That's a Vizio 2010 uh, video about dimensioning, and it will serve as a tutorial. I want to start here with blank page. First thing uh, we're going to do in terms of dimensioning is I'm going to change the orientation of this page. Uh, turn off auto size, which increases the size of the sheet of paper. Usually you know what size you want to print on. The most important thing is to set your scale. And so we're going to go into the page setup and go to drawing scale. Got a number of choices here. Uh, I use architectural quite a bit. Uh, it's what we normally see on building drawings, that sort of thing. I uh, see so different scales. Uh, if I were to choose quarter inch equals to one foot, I can draw something 44 feet by 34 feet on the uh, 11 and a half by 8 and a half uh, sheet that I have selected right now. Assumptions for other kinds of sales, so engineering, uh, site plans, that sort of thing. Uh, we can also do a uh, mechanical engineering or metric. Um, so we said I most frequently use the uh, architectural scale. And I'm going to choose that one at a quarter inch. Apply that. Hit OK. Now I'm going to start drawing some objects. I'm going to just draw a few things here. Nothing in particular. I'm just going to use this to demonstrate dimensioning. We're going to start now. Uh, in order to use dimensions, we do these as uh, stencils. I'm going to go here to View. Uh, and we're going to turn around shapes. Uh, these are the shapes that we uh, bring in from the stencils. And we're also going to uh, turn the size and position window. This helps if we draw objects, we can see what size they are. Now we're going to look into the shapes and take a look at Visio Extras, and we'll see a set here called Dimensioning. I'm going to pick Dimensioning in uh, architectural units. There are a number of different um, choices here. One of the first we'll try here is the uh, horizontal baseline. We'll clean this out. Uh, set on our first feature this way. Take this one over here. Now it'll automatically, as we take this uh, other handle, uh, we'll bring this over here. And we can just keep doing that. And it sets all those dimensions automatically for us from uh, one point. So we call that a horizontal baseline. Then we can also you know, use the vertical baseline. Drag this over here. And uh, we'll start out locating our first uh, feature. Now we're going to take this dimension and bring it out here a nice space away from the uh, most of the objects. Then we're going to set this dimension to that corner right there. We'll go and grab this handle, drag it over here. Go back, grab that handle again, drag it over here, and you can see how it's spaced all these dimensions out rather neatly. So those are uh, some uh, ones that do a number of operations. Uh, the more standard things would be our uh, horizontal dimension, uh, such as this. Here we can set the points we want to measure, and then we can just uh, drag this handle down here. And we can move the actual dimension on the line there by just grabbing that handle and put it on the line if we want. So that would be a standard horizontal dimension. Now, if you were to move that dimension so it's too small to fit inside the line, you might want to use one that does a, uh, an outside dimension uh, like this. So here we would have. Uh, See how this shows a dimension outside the actual space. So get inside and outside the lines. OK, then uh, that same thing works on vertical. And then inside and outside. Again, just uh, we were measure to drag these handles over. Uh, use the one on the side here, space where you want the dimension to be at. And then use this handle to move the actual dimension itself. You can see that we have a number of options on these dimensions, precision in units, 
we can uh, reset the text position to where it was originally after we've moved it. Extension lines, either at the end or the beginning, only the dimension, either one. You can define dimension lines. So I've got a number of options that are there from the uh, right click. We can also do some dimensions at angles and do that back here. And we'll grab a even. And here we're going to put this handle to this one. You can see how it angles the dimension. And again, we can move this like that. And we can change the dimension by right there. Now, we might have something where we want to have an uneven dimension. And in a case like that, we might have, say, the object. So in this case, we might want to take um, the line uneven. And here we've got. And we can use this handle to align our dimension. And we can bring it out like this. So that gives us an extra uh, tool here for aligning our dimension. So we can do that with uh, something uneven that we're trying to measure. That covers it for those linear types of dimensions. Then we're going to go to uh, measuring a, a radius and an arc. We'll do an arc here, and so we'll bring this in, and we're going to set this uh, on the uh, center of the radius, and we'll move the you know, handle out to the line, and this gives us our radius of six feet. And if we select that arc, you can see you know, these are the uh, locations, uh, lengths, and, and angles. That would be how we use that type of a uh, radius tool. Now we'll look at doing some circles. And here we would have a radius outside tool. Drop this in the center. And so you get a radius of uh, four feet in a circle. Uh, I've got another radius tool. And this will show the arrow inside. And so it's going to be a radius of four feet. We can move that where we'd like. Then we'll take a look at diameter. Bring this one over. And here we're moving right to the center. So it shows us an eight foot diameter circle. So that's uh, the other approach. And finally, we have uh, a diameter shown outside the circle. Pretty much all similar to the way it's set up, just difference in uh, how you want to display it. So this shows the diameter shown outside the circle, center in, in there. Okay, then we have a uh, number of tools for measuring uh, angles. Bring this in the same way. Here we're going to put this in the 
same central location. We can set what portion, uh, how far out we want this to be using the uh, yellow handle. And the blue handles set uh, where we want the angle to be. So the yellow handle moves it this way. And so that uh, could be used um, to uh, measure an angle from the center. Uh, we've got another uh, angle, even, uneven. So let's say that we have a um, some sort of a, an object. Uh, and we wanted to say show this angle. Um, could go in here. This would be an angle uneven like this. And here we're going to take this put in the center. Uh, we're going to take this one around that way. We're going to take. This one over be here. We can drag the uh, this line down a little closer here, like like this. And this shows us the angle. You can see how these uneven uh, legs are the angle. Now, if these were equal, we could just use the uh, even angle tool. Uh, we can do an angle shown outside the dimension for a small angle. And then we have a number of uh, ones that just measure distances without actually showing the lines. Multi uh, vertical, we can do a room measurement, which can be useful. Uh, let's say that we had a uh, room that we're looking at. Let's go to another page here. So we got a room like that. We can take that room measurement, just drag it in there. Just uh, fill the room up, set it to the edge of the dimensions, and then it'll just show us that would be an example of using that. And uh, we can put a center line in there if we'd like. Center line. So it's just an example use of that particular feature. So this uh, pretty much covers dimensioning in uh, Vizio 2010. It's done with these uh, special shapes available through the um, different uh, selection of stencils. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.